Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Inspector Don Coleman, Calgary Police Service Major Crime Section. The Calgary Police Service Homicide Unit has charged one man in relation to a double homicide that occurred in May 2017. The public's assistance is also being asked in locating a man who may have more information about this incident, as well as a vehicle that we believe is linked to this subject. At approximately 7.55 p.m. on Sunday, May 21, 2017, police were called to a parking lot in the area of 130th Avenue and 48th Street Southeast for reports of gunshots. Two men were found deceased upon arrival. Investigators interviewed approximately a dozen witnesses after the shooting and believed that the two victims arrived at the parking lot together. A third man who arrived at the location in a separate vehicle is alleged to be responsible for the shooting. The victims were identified as Anis Ismail Hammer, 26 of Calgary, and Colin Brandon Reitberger, 23 of Calgary. On Thursday, June 8, 2017, Christian Joffrey Olette, 20 years of age of Calgary, was arrested. He is charged with two counts of first degree murder and will next appear in court on Monday, June 12. The vehicle, believed to be used in the shooting, was recovered shortly after the incident. Investigators are also searching for a second vehicle that dropped off our offender at a gas station located at 70 Freeport Boulevard Northeast after the murders. The vehicle is described as a red Dodge Durango SLT, potentially between the years of 2004 to 2006, and has a sunroof. The homicide unit is also asking for the public's assistant assistance in locating a man who may have more information about these murders. William Kincaid Miller is believed to be in Ontario and is making his way potentially to New Brunswick. He is described as six foot two with a slim build, blue eyes and short brown hair. Anyone with information is asked to contact police by calling 403-266-1234 or the homicide unit tip line at 403-428-8877 and tips can also be left anonymously by contacting Crime Stoppers. And I'll answer what questions I can. Is there any more information you can provide about why you're looking for Mr. Kincaid Miller? Not particularly. We believe Mr. Kincaid Miller has um, information relating uh, to this murder and we'd like to speak to him about it. He also has several outstanding warrants for his arrest on an unrelated matter, but we believe he has information relating uh, to this. Is he considered uh, armed or dangerous? I don't believe so. Um, and since um, he could be um, out of the province, are, I, I'm assuming that there's contact being made with other police forces to attempt to locate him? That's correct. As I said, his whereabouts are unknown. He could potentially be anywhere, uh, including Calgary still. Um, we had some information that he's potentially in Ontario and making his way to New Brunswick, so those areas have been notified. Do we have any information right now if uh, Christian Olette was known to the victims at all? Yes, he was. Can you provide any details about the fact that he was known to police Mr. Olette? Not uh, background-wise, no, that's not information that, that we disclose. Can you... Um, when you say that he knew them, uh, the victims, can you, were they considered uh, work associates? Were they friends? Did they just kind of know each other? Could you expand a little bit on how they knew each other? Yeah, I think the, the relationship of the accused to the victims would uh, be uh, in a, a criminal network association type manner. And can you also, I understand that people the, the charges that have been laid, but the fact that if you're considering this as a first degree murder case, that there was some planned or deliberate action taken. You just kind of talk a little bit about, or what you can say about the fact that this is believed to be a first degree as opposed to a second or manslaughter. Yeah, for sure. The, um, the investigation that uh, was conducted um, afforded evidence of obviously premeditation and a degree of planning that went into the event, which then uh, meets the threshold for first degree murder. Can you comment generally on how you were able to arrest this guy? Like what led you to figure out it was him you know, generally? Yeah, the the uh, ability to bring this to charges as quick as we did is 
uh, in this case 100% a result of the investigators that worked on this file. Uh, they did uh, a tremendous job at moving this file forward, put in a ton of time, um, and not um, like some files, there's obstacles around technology and different things. This is a result of, uh, to use the term good old fashioned police work and, and a lot of it, and it's really a testament to the investigators that uh, are in the homicide unit and the support units that assist and the, uh, the collaboration that goes into these files as a service is really impressive. I just, go ahead. Do you still believe it's drug related? I do. Don, I just want to make sure that I'm clear on the, how the vehicles worked here. So the, the, sus, the shooter, the suspect, drove to the parking lot, uh, met the, the victims, and then drove himself to another location, then left that car and was picked up by it. Like how did, can you just go over that? So yeah, yeah, thanks uh, for reminding me. Um, we believe that Mr. Ouellette uh, had a vehicle, um, was by himself, he attended Superstore, committed the homicides. That vehicle was recovered in the northeast uh, quadrant of the city uh, to the east of the airport. Um, where that vehicle is recovered. We believe the red Durango that we're looking to speak to the owner or who was driving that vehicle picked up Mr. Ouellette somewhere between where he abandoned that vehicle and was dropped off at the Petro Canada at, uh, on Freeport. And so, can you say if the driver of that vehicle is Mr. Kincaid Miller? Uh, we don't know that. We don't know that. If uh, we knew that, we wouldn't be looking for the vehicle probably but so we anticipate that uh, the person who was in that vehicle driving and picked him up maybe he knew Mr. Olette maybe he didn't maybe he just picked him up we don't know what the circumstances are so that's what we're trying to figure out and due to the recency of him being in that vehicle to the murders there's uh, it's it's an important piece the first recovered vehicle was that a stolen vehicle the one he dumped uh, the um, details around the vehicle it, it isn't anything we would disclose at this point. All right, thanks.